I'm Max Sterling. Welcome to LARPgasm. It's the most wonderful time of the year, and I don't mean Christmas. I was able to find this little lantern at the dollar store, Dollar Tree, whatever it is where you're located at. It tells me that it is a light-up lantern. That it has a tea light in it. That it has a CR2032 battery that is not replaceable. However, you know, I'm looking at the bottom here, and I definitely see a screw. Let me make sure I have a big enough screwdriver here. Well, that certainly looks like a replaceable battery to me. So, kids, don't believe everything they tell you. As far as this, what are we going to do with this? Well, I want to use it as a little lantern to carry around with me. Now, I've seen metal versions of this. The problem with that is, though, metal, if you fall on it, you're going to get fucked up. You think falling on car keys is bad? Try falling on a little sharp lantern like this. Also, uh, this is plastic, so it's a lot lighter, a lot more forgiving, and a lot more safe. Now, I will probably round these edges off on a grinding wheel or with a Dremel uh, to make it easier. But basically, this whole thing can just dangle from your belt. And if you lose it, it's only going to cost a dollar, so who cares? In fact, I'm probably going to buy two or three more of these just in case. But this whole thing is actually really awesome because if you want to open it up, all you got to do is just push in on that. This whole thing comes apart, and you can paint that, do whatever you want to with it. This inside portion here comes right out. Now you could use probably uh, like uh, brake cleaner or I don't know paint stripper or something. Something that's not going to melt the plastic but will take this off of here. You might be able to use something a lot less harsh than that. I'll probably use gasoline or something but uh, paint thinner and just take this off of here and then just slip it right back in and that way it's not Halloween themed. This is a little flickering light already so it'll look like there's a flame in there however I might look for an LED one also because that's gonna be a lot brighter and uh, this part this tea light part just comes right out also so this is easily replaced with whatever you want to put in there so this whole thing is just awesome for this project and it's gonna be very simple and very easy to do so let me go ahead and show you the first step so if you've never used brake parts cleaner, this stuff is fantastic for getting things off, uh, like decals, uh, ink. So this is the side with the little Halloween stuff on. This is the side I already did. This stuff is awesome. What you want to do is you want to spray some into like a rag. You don't want to spray it directly on the plastic because sometimes it'll melt it. So get a little bit on a rag, take it. And just wipe it off and that's real time I mean that's how fast it is just like that so brake parts cleaner if you need to get stuff clean awesome stuff now I did round these corners off I just used scissors to actually cut them off but if you don't have the hand strength to do that you can use a Dremel and then I just use sandpaper to clean them up so that they're nice and round and a lot more LARP safe and friendly and really that could be your finished light source for LARP if you wanted to now because I play a rogue uh, primarily most of the time <clears throat> at, at whatever LARPs I'm at I may leave this black I may try to tarnish this up a little bit. Um, I may use some rub and buff to make this metallic looking. Um, I have to see which direction I want to go with it, but you could very easily use that as is right now. So for right now, this could be where you stop your project at. You are $1 into it. If you bought a thing of brake clean, then you're probably about $5 into it, but pretty cool little light source for five bucks. So as you can see, I've decided to use rub and buff on two of them. So this one 
we went with a silver, this one we went with a copper. So <clears throat> the next step is I'm going to give these a bath in black. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, let me show you. Okay. So to do a bath, what you're going to need is you're going to need the color paint you're going to use. You're going to need some sort of cleaner like a soap. Normally I would use mop and glow, but I don't have any of that around. So I'm using this cleaner. So you put in some of that and you drop in some of your paint. And then from there, you're going to want to just mix it up. until you basically have a colored water looking substance. All right. Now step two is super simple because all you're going to do is just take this and basically just put it on everything. If it's liquid enough, it'll run everywhere. And I get into all the little cracks and crevices. Now, if you've painted miniatures, then you're probably familiar with this process. This is actually a little too thick. I'm gonna have to add a little bit more liquid. But after I do, basically just brush it on, let it run off, and it'll find its way into all the places you may have missed. It'll make everything look immediately older and more aged and more grungy. Um, <clears throat> black is good for simple aging. I'm trying to get something to look like rust, mix a brown and red, you get a rust color going, and just pour that all over it completely. We'll go ahead and get these done and then show you what they look like when they're dry. So you should be able to see that now it has some dark marks on it. It's a lot darker than it was. Basically just looks like you know some time has gotten to it. So the next step is to clear coat it and maybe do some highlighting on it. Uh, we'll see about doing that. So here's the final product for these lanterns. This is how the sort of <clears throat> silver or metallic one turned out. This is how the copperish one turned out. And then this is just the regular black. Now, these plastic tops, if you're using these, uh, break very easily. I would suggest getting a U-bolt from Lowe's, or I would suggest, if you're doing medieval, <clears throat> maybe a piece of twine or rope to carry this because if you rely on these they break real easy so this is what the final product looks like now at night the paint job's not going to matter so I mean you can just do the black ones if you want to if you have the rub and buff or the paint on hand to do the wash and stuff I mean you can make it look as good as you want you could obviously easily put symbols and things on here to make them look even more embellished you could put something on the frosted plastic where we wiped the Halloween stuff off of but I mean, that's pretty much it. A cheap, inexpensive way to get a light source that's not going to blind everyone. I hope you give it a shot, and if you do, please let me know in the comments below. I'm Max Sterling, and until next time, adventure on. Run to the hills! Run for your life! Run to the